Fallout New Vegas is widely considered one of the best, if not the best, Fallout games. And yet, if you were to play it right now, here in 2024, you'd probably be disappointed with the stability of the game, the performance issues, and the crashes. Well, I have the solution here. Viva New Vegas. This is considered like the way to play the game on PC in 2024. Viva New Vegas is a modding guide for Fallout New Vegas that will carefully walk you through how to install all the mods you will need for a perfectly stable, smooth, and enjoyable experience. Also good news, you don't have to have any modding experience. Take it from me, I'm not overly technical and I was able to get this thing going. And the great part about this set of mods, it's doing everything it can to improve the game without straying from the original game's intent. If you just want stability fixes and performance and bug stuff, great. But there are options to improve the UI, improve the gameplay, even overhaul the gameplay in some ways. And you can choose and pick whatever you want. So at the end of it, you've got a really great way to play the game. The link to Viva New Vegas will be down in the description below, or you can just search Viva New Vegas. This guide is fantastic. Essentially, you scroll through each page, you read, you follow the directions, and you continue on. What's great is this whole first section is just teaching you the basics and getting you everything you need to run the game with the performance improvements. However, if you want things beyond, there's things that improve the visuals, the usability, the gameplay, some of the overhauls, like if you want a little bit of a difficult uh, experience or a little more challenging, you can choose some of these options here. And at the end of it, you've got a very complete package. And what I like about this, it really doesn't push on you any big texture mods. My time playing New Vegas, I've heard texture mods can be very hit or miss. And to be honest, the game visually wasn't that impressive even back in 2010. So you will have to be able to put up with just a little bit of oldness and jank, but the game shines through pretty much everywhere else. If you were to start a Fallout game, in 2024, and you had your pick, your choice. New Vegas, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, let's leave 76 off the table for just a second here. I would probably point players towards New Vegas first, depending on the kind of player you are. This is very much an RPG at heart. It's got fantastic writing, amazing choice, and really incredible design. Fallout 3 also has a lot of that incredible design but I just think New Vegas shines quite a bit more than that. Now Fallout 4, for a modern player, is probably going to be the easier one to recommend, because I just think there's a lot of players who are new, who maybe haven't played older RPG games before, who would get into New Vegas, not know what to do, and then be like, hey, I'm not interested in this. So I won't point people away from Fallout 4, it's just, I think, not the strongest when it comes to the RPG elements and the writing. I mean, the story of, of Fallout 4 is still something people talk about to this day. But ultimately, if you are considering a playthrough of any of these games, go watch just a quick video and take a look and see what fits your fancy. It's going to be a little different for everybody. When it comes to Fallout 76, just know it's a big multiplayer map with some story elements. I've been making a few Fallout 76 videos this last week. And there's so many people commenting like shocked that the game doesn't have the story quality of New Vegas. And it's like, no, it's it's a very different experience. It's an MMO light game where you can go with, you know, light survival elements, play this investment shooter with your friends. It's cool. I have fun, but it's it's not a substitute for the single player Fallout experiences. So if you're going to play New Vegas in 2024, check out Viva New Vegas. Let me know what you think about it. If you found this video helpful, please let me know with a like. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you again very soon.